The following segment is sponsored by Daniel A. White and Associates and does not necessarily reflect the views of this station or Forever Media Incorporated. Rick Jensen. On 1150 AM, 1017 FM, WDEL. You know, actually, I've been a client of Dan White for many, many years. Uh, financial planners specializing in retirement income. Andrew Wood is uh, one of the fine, uh, bright young minds of Dan White and Associates. He's in the Middletown office on the phone right now. Andrew, how you doing, buddy? Doing great, Rick. How are you? Not Thanks well. Me. Pardon me? I said, thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, no, no problem, no problem. Uh, yeah, you guys are heading into uh, what we know as the uh, the living nightmare for most of us, tax season. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. It's a, it's, a bit, it's a bit of hectic time, you know, that hectic time of year. So. I know. Didn't um, we just do this? I know. And, and I need to call my accountant and say, by the way, uh, you know, what about people who have been told they have to stay home and work from home? Okay, so they have a home office now. But they have employment at a place where they have an office, but they just can't go there. And... I haven't even asked him about that, and I'm not going to ask you either because that's not well, your forte, or is it? Well, what we're going to what we're going to talk about today is, is really just uh, things that you need to know, especially regarding IRAs and, and Roth IRAs. Um, if you are looking to make contributions for specifically last year for 2021, yeah, because that is your forte. And I remember during 2020, all these rules changed, and uh, now are they all resetting to where they where they were back in like in 2019? No, they are not. Um, so the SECURE Act of 2019 did change things. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. But uh, just so you're aware of this and your audience members should know this, uh, if you are looking to make a contribution, there is a hard deadline. It is April the 18th of 2022. That is the tax filing due date this year uh, for contributions at the hard date, regardless of whether or not you file an extension. So just be very, very conscious of that. All right. Gotcha. Maximum, yeah, yeah. So maximum contributions are going to be six thousand uh, each individual, plus a thousand dollars if you are over the age of fifty. So uh, that has not changed either. Now here's here's something that you, you again very very important. In order to make contributions, you do have to have what they call eligible compensation. All right. So that's for most people, it's going to be employees of, a, of an employer, obviously in self employment income. But one of the things that changed in 2020 is there used to be a um, an age limit. So at 70 and a half, even if you were still working, technically you were not allowed to contribute to your IRA. Well, now it does not matter. There is no age limit, but you again have to have that eligible compensation. So again, very important. You could be 90 years old if you have eligible compensation. Yes, you can contribute to an IRA account. Okay, so I'm now visualizing an irony. At what age are you required to take money out of your IRA? Yeah, so that's at 72 now as well. So they bumped that up from 70 and a half to 72, all part of the SECURE Act of 2019. So you could be 74 years old and putting money into the IRA while you're working, but you're also required to take some out at the same time. Pretty pretty complicated, not really sure why you would do that. But again, if you're saving, you want to get a little bit of a tax, you know. I guess, yeah. Or, you know, whatever the case is, you can do that. What else should we know? Now, when it comes to when it comes to planning opportunities, so, you know, especially for those spouses with maybe little or, or no compensation, uh, they can make contributions to their own Roth or, or IRA account uh, based on their spouse's compensation but, uh, compensation, but only if they do file a joint return. Oh, okay. Now, yeah. now people might be thinking, well, what about kids and things like that? So... Well, based on a spouse, if they file a joint return, you can look at your spouse's compensation if they're employed. Uh, but for children, they don't have that option. You can't just dump money into your, your you know, your child's account. Uh, they have to have legitimate income or legitimate compensation that's not under the table, that's not gifting. You know, that's that's employment. So, be very aware of that. Gotcha. And when it comes to giving money to kids, um, I just say like, have a padlock for the mattress. Put it in there. <laughs> no, no, not a good idea. <laughs> Anything else? I throw you off base just here. One last, th yeah. Well, just one last thing before you know everyone starts dumping money into those these IRAs and Roth IRAs. Uh, just make sure you're looking at the updated phase out ranges, income ranges, uh, ranges. Compare your income, right? What you earned this past year, and look at the income ranges because you can be phased out uh, and have. Uh, contributions that are not necessarily deductible. So again, 
you don't want to make a contribution thinks you're getting think you're getting a tax break on it and the next thing you know you're getting hit with penalty yeah so what i do is i call you guys i call my accountant and say okay Tell me what I should do. Document it. Put it in a folder. Boom. Move on. I got things to do. I love that about you guys. You yeah, my accountant. Andrew Wood with Dan White and Associates, financial planners specializing in retirement income. Uh, this Sunday, Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, is going to be part two of Dan White's two-part series with special guest Mary Beth Franklin. She's going to talk about Medicare planning and what you need to know. So get a cup of coffee, 7 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, and listen. Mary Beth Franklin, by the way, is a pretty big deal. Uh, she is a um, certified financial planner, investment news contributing editor, and a foremost social security expert. She's got some up-to-date uh, information on social security claiming strategies that could save you and your, uh, gosh, your, your family and everybody you know, just thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's on the money. Dan White, Sunday morning, 7 o'clock, Andrew Wood, Middletown office. I give him a call at 888-690-8820. That's what I do. 888-690-8820 and say, hey, uh, let me talk to that smart guy, Andrew, and see if he can help me out and stuff. All right, sir? You got it. Thanks, Rick. All right. Uh, take care.